Some exciting news out of USCIS about gender reveals on your immigration forms. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States out of our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. In today's video, we're going to share some exciting news from USCIS. They went through the entire notice and comment process in order to make things easier for people who have changed genders or transgender people when going through the immigration process. In the old days, it was simply male or female. Those are your only choices on the forms. And so they have proposed a new rule, which is going into effect, that's going to allow people to have a third option. It's just going to be a, a third box that just lets you write in what you want to say about your gender. Even more importantly, you're going to be able to go ahead and change your gender without having to send in supporting documentation to USCIS. This is the real crux of the whole thing. It's going to become much easier for people who identify as a gender other than the one that they were originally identified with at USCIS to update the agency as to their gender. Now, of course, if people are doing a name change, uh, that's going to be a whole different process. You're going to have to go through your state court to change your name and then notify USCIS. Generally, I think that that can cause problems at USCIS, that if you change your name halfway through the process, that's going to cause you big problems. But USCIS is bending over backwards to try to make it easier for people and to take into effect what's going on in the real world when it comes to uh, gender changes and the way that people want to identify themselves. So this is great news. It's great news because it's going to make life easier for all kinds of people. People are going to be able to identify as they want to, and they're not going to have to go and get documentation from a court or from a doctor of their uh, gender change. They're not going to have to submit surgery records or anything like that. Now, this is one of those examples that I talk about from time to time when it comes to USCIS that it really makes a difference who's in the White House. And what I mean by that is that I am anticipating that if a Republican were to get elected in the next election, they will probably undo this rule. So the only way this can become a real permanent law would be for Congress to pass it as legislation. But in the meantime, with Congress doing nothing for immigration for the last 20 years, it's up to administrative actions like this one by the Biden team to try to make things easier for people going through the immigration process. And I think that's really what it's all about. You want people to be able to identify as they want, to say who they are, to go through the process, and most importantly, for USCIS to have good records of things. You know. You can find immigration records from decades and decades ago, and there's a lot of important information in there. We need to make sure that our records are up to date and that USCIS is keeping track of things. And we want to encourage people to let the agency know of changes in their circumstances. And we want to make people comfortable as they go through the immigration process. USCIS usually doesn't do things like this, so I do applaud them. I'm glad that this is something that was on their radar. I hope it does make life easier for people. I hope it makes it easier for them to apply for benefits, to receive benefits, to get their benefits approved. And I'm hopeful that this is going to be another step in the right direction as we make life easier for immigrants in the United States. But I'm not holding my breath. If you have questions about this or if you're thinking about hiring an immigration lawyer to help you through the process, please give us a call at 314-961-8200. You can email us info at hackingimmigrationlaw.com. We have a free Facebook group that you should join. It's called Immigrant Home. We'd love to have you join us there. We have thousands and thousands of immigrants who talk about things just like this in the immigration news and context every single day. They talk about processing times. They talk about service centers. They talk about embassies. They talk about the National Visa Center. And it's a great place to get free information if that's what you're looking for. Another great source for free information is our YouTube channel. I'm making videos like this one. I've been going live every day for a month. And we have our Immigration Live Answer Show. We'd love to have you join us there. You can ask me a question for free. I go for a full hour three or four times a week answering as many immigration law related questions as I can. It's another great free resource for you. So if you're thinking about hiring us, give us a call. If you're thinking about getting free information, check us out on Facebook or on YouTube. And of course, you can always find us now on TikTok at Immigration Hacking. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.